Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Digital Wrestling Revolution. I'm here with NGW superstar Skippy O'Donis. <laughs> hey, Rog. It's, uh, it's a pleasure that DWR had me on. Uh, well, what's the point of the interview? I mean, what can I do for you today? Well, uh, as many people have seen, seen online, like uh, a couple of weeks ago, you betrayed your tag team partner and your little brother, uh, Little Don. I mean, sure. what, what was going through your head when you came out there at Rage in the Cage? Well, you know, Roger, I'll tell you quite simply, uh, I just gotten to a point to where, uh, uh, you know, uh, Don was, was really just, he was holding me back, man. I mean, that's what it boiled down to. Uh, uh, you know, he's a little guy, and uh, the belt, really, in all honesty, should have been mine. You know, several, several matches ago, several weeks ago at O'Malley's, there was a three-way. Uh, and actually, even before that, in Florence, uh, there was an opportunity where me and Little D and Blaine were all three in the ring together, mm. where the one who got the pinfall would win the match. Uh, and, and, you know, Little D knew from the get-go that I wanted that belt. Mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason, he thought that that was his rite of passage and he should have that belt. I, I knew from the get-go that if he had the belt, he, there was no way he was going to keep it. I think I recall that. Didn't you go for the pin? And I, I went for the pin, and, and D pulled me up. He sure did. Uh, you, you know, and, and, and ever since that moment, I've been telling D that, that he did not need to be the one in the family to retain that gold because he was not going to be able to keep it. Mm. You know, uh, Betray, uh, you know... I'm getting a lot of Facebook messages on this stuff, Roger. Uh, you know, what it boils down to is this. Look at me. And look at him. Okay. All right. Muscle. I got the looks. I got the skill set. I'm better than 90% of that locker room at New Generation Wrestling right now. There is no reason that I can think of why I should be on the number one contenders list for the heavyweight champion. The number one contenders list for the innovative title. And, and by all means, the number one contenders list with a decent tag team partner for the tag team champs. There's no reason. So you're saying he's a liability, that he's slowing you down. Really? And his ability to hold the innovative title was you're judging for that. Exactly. You know, I, oh, I hear all this stuff on Facebook. I have all these fans mess. Oh, why, Skippy? Why? Why not? Have you seen him? I think I recall Jay Popular telling him to eat a sandwich. At Rage yes. in the Cage, that was, that was a little cool. It would be appropriate coming from the Swole Patrol, and, and especially from the fabulous Skip Johnson. The fabulous Skip Johnson. That's right, because everything I do, Roger, in that ring is fabulous. So, you said decent tag team partner for the tag team championship. Mm -hmm. uh, is that the reason why you've chosen to team up with Jay Popular and what is... Y'all are calling the Swole Patrol or something? That's What's the deal right, with that? That's right. Why don't look at us, man? Come on. Come on. I mean, you look look at look at this swole. All right, <laughs> look. <laughs> the thing is, man, the thing is, is is is, is these holding us back. Uh you know, uh me and Jay we went out, you know, I went out, I tried to help D not lose this title. What happens? Loses it anyway. The whole reason why I didn't ever want him to have it to begin with. It should have been on my waist. So, you know, the thing is, man, is, uh, you know, we went out there and, and uh, D lost the title. So, Jay and I had been talking anyway. Jay had been talking to me about maybe dumping D, coming over to his side, maybe just forming a little stable. You know, and I've been kind of tossing it around, you know, because slowly over time, just getting really, really, uh, you know, kind of uh, just burnt out with, with having to ba basically carry my little brother through all these matches. So, you know, we decided, I told him, I said, look, man, tonight's the night. Let's bait D out. I said, so let's go out there. Let's make it look realistic so we can get D out there. And you see that that's why I kind of roughed up my knee a little bit. I said, but I'm not out here to hurt you. You don't hurt me. Let's let's make the goal uh, to get him out here. And, and it worked perfect. I mean, D came out and did exactly what he thought he should do as a brother. And I did exactly what I should do to secure my future championships. You were a part of Adrenaline Rush for a while, a tag team with your little brother. I trained him. I taught him everything he knows. He wouldn't know anything about this business. But you've been funny. you've been talking a lot about how puny he is and stuff. But the tag team as a whole, did it ever just get old for you? Uh, you know, it never really got old. Uh, it, you know, uh, it's you know, I'm talking with my brother. So I mean, it, it was it was always a lot of fun uh, when I wasn't having to hold us up, and and that's that's what got old is 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 uh, you know what what does D bring to the team? I realized that I couldn't go anywhere with him. I mean, we we had been wrestling for some time. There was no talk of contendership or the tag team titles. Uh, 
uh, for whatever reason, uh, 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 you know, the promoter for what, you know, didn't see us in that light. Um, you know, there, there was just no, we weren't going anywhere. And, mm. and, and, you know, like I said, everybody's claiming, yeah, everybody's claiming family, this family, that bullshit, man. Um, I mean, the, the reality is, is that, like I said, he, he's holding me back. I'm fabulous, man. I, I am better than 98% of the talent at New Generation Wrestling right now at this moment. There are several who think that they're so much greater than what they are, but that's all in their head and their perception. That's their egotistical self-centeredness. They stepped back and looked. So it's their second. ego. They were, exactly. Yeah, a bunch of egotistical uh, you know, uh, guys. You know, But mm -hmm. reality, if you just look at it honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm one of the best there. There's no reason why I shouldn't hold the innovative title so or I shouldn't hold the heavyweight. Do you think that uh, Jay Popular is the second best? That he comes close to your abilities? That way you want to well, take you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get in a comparison of who's better or or, or who's worse, but but I think that us together is, can dominate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, we, we're talking to some other guys in the back. Uh, you know, we're 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 gonna. We're, I think we got something good here, and I think we're gonna try to form a staple and make it grow. Well, thank you for joining me. Sure. The fabulous Skip Johnson. You got it. And uh, stay tuned for more Digital Wrestling Revolution. When I get up in the morning, Roger, I pee fabulous. Well, that's... I use the restroom, and it is fabulous.